You know who I be, they call me Snapside I play that Call of Duty, schooling all the newbies Pick you down to learn, then go and press play Cause I'm only down aiming for that first place Yo, yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Mr. Slapside and I'm back with some um, AK gameplay. And this video is dedicated to anybody out there that just likes Nuketown and you're trying to get better at Nuketown and possibly trying to drop a nuke. This is actually my first nuke on Nuketown. Um, I was playing in a six stack um, all night the other night and it was just really sweaty. We were playing a lot of uh, other teams and we were winning, definitely uh always uh, winning undefeated but um it was just very very uh sweaty so in this gameplay shout out to nexus it was just uh me and him and sure enough we were able to get a pretty good lobby and it was kind of tough to get this nuke um right off the bat you can see that this team was very aggressive on the obj and anytime the enemy is aggressive on the obj that's your cue to slay them up just go for picks because if you play the obj with them you're just gonna be trading back and forth for the obj so anytime they're very aggressive on the OBJ, um, try to counter that by just slaying up. In this uh, gameplay, I'm just running pretty much all the green perks. So I get the specialty strategist. Um, flag jacket is a must. I kind of wish you could use flag jacket with tactical mask, but unfortunately you can't. I don't know why. Um, I think that's how they balance out the perks so that not everyone's using the same set of perks. They... Um, it just makes it more interesting that way. But um, I wanted to post this video. I had um, other nukes from my previous prestige, uh, first prestige. But I just wanted to post this up because Nuketown is hot right now. This is the thing that's trending. A lot of people are playing Nuketown. And, you know, not many people are posting commentaries about it. You know, everyone's putting clips. They're putting up uh, gameplay. But I just really wanted to talk, you know, really commentate, get behind the mic and do this like the old school way. Um, whoever is like supporting me, if you're watching this video right now, I just really appreciate y'all, man. I understand, you know, there, you know, I'm not that big and there's, there's people, you know, everyone's going to go to, there's bigger YouTubers or whatever, but I do this for my, uh, personal, uh, just for personal reasons, just, just as a hobby. And for me, it's just, it's just something to look back at. You know, I play the game a lot. If I'm going to invest a lot of time in this game, I really just want to make content so I could always, um, just come back to it. It's like a journal to me, like a Call of Duty journal, journal or something. You know, I'm always trying to improve as a player. COD is just the game that I just keep coming back to, man. Um, I can't, you know, stop it, you know. So we'll see. I mean, I hope, you know, things get better. Me personally, what I'm planning to do with this COD, I'm just trying to grind, get the Master Camo. And when Resurgence comes out, I'll be able to rock that Master Camo. And I'm just going to play a lot of Resurgence. And whenever Multi-Rank comes out, I'm going to be grinding that. Uh, it's just crazy because when you play pubs, skill-based matchmaking, it will kick you in the butt. It feels like you're playing ranked every game. And, and just being older, me playing COD for a long time and coming from a generation where we used to play pubs and it was based off of pretty much uh, connection. It was prioritizing the connection between the teams and it was just kind of skill-basing it uh, based off of how high your rank was. But nowadays, there's a lot of like mathematical... Um, algorithms to it that makes it so sweaty like the whatever you play against it's gonna like have a lot of statistics that are hidden uh behind the skill based matchmaking system so it's really tough but um this last these last 10 kills right here guys it was tough man it was tough you know i was playing this window i was camping it like crazy but i was just really trying to secure this nuke it was tough really really tough man but like i said shout out to nexus man for just kind of like keeping them off of me he was playing the obj a little bit and uh, we were able to get this nuke, and I love these kind of nukes, because these nukes, you got to get the nuke to win the game. If I don't get this nuke, we're probably going to lose, or I'm just going to get have a really boring, terrible game where I'm just, like, dying a lot, and I'm just jumping on the flag, and we're just fighting for the objective, and that's just annoying, because these guys, I know they can't slay that good, but they're playing the OBJ heavily, and they were kind of trying to get me, and luckily I had this guy with me. He was just, like, in the window with me, and I was using him as bait a little bit, one of my um, teammates. I'm not sure if he was able to hear me, but... Um, he was like a kind of newbie a little bit. But you can see we clutch up, get the nuke. And I'm really enjoying like the prestige system. I like how they have stats uh, based off of each prestige. Um, I'm getting better each prestige. My stats are going up. I'm, you know, I'm just doing pretty good. But I think first prestige, I went on a 44 gun streak. I'll share that with you guys. And this is actually my um, highest gun streak for prestige two. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, this is dedicated, like I said, to anybody out there that just wants to get better at Nuketown and all that. Uh, obviously, it's going to come down to the lobby and 
out of like maybe 50 games I played Nuketown, this is probably like one of the best games I got. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, you know, what a lot of people don't see the grind of it. You guys don't see me playing all of these sweaty lobbies all night, all day. If you do want to see it, um, you just got to go to my Twitch and you can see how hard it is. You know, I got to grind through it, too. You know, I'm not just getting like perfect lobbies all the time. You know, um, I'm grinding through it. I'm just trying to finish up my gold camos. I'm just going for that master camo and I'm really enjoying the game, guys. Uh, me personally, my thoughts on the engine of VO6, uh, I feel like Modern Warfare 3 is a superior engine, but the characteristic and just the just the art of Treyarch, the way they made this game it's very enjoyable as you can see i go 53 and 1 i hope you guys enjoy man big shout out to y'all man um, i'm gonna drop the nuke track for you guys this is gonna start being my trademark and i hey, hope y'all enjoy peace yes, got the nuke i drop it on your crew got the nuke i drop it on your crew got the nuke i drop it on your crew got the nuke i drop it on your crew yeah. Give me the Zaza, I don't want drama, Eki on me, Gabby the chopper, sending you shots, I ain't talking about vodka, sweaty and locked, and I'm talking about lockers, I'm running at last, my gunny is cracked, I know your position, I got you on track, they think that I hacked, they don't see the advance, my movement is crazy, I got so much snap, the way that I slay in my enemy.